Yep. Yep. The doctor has been lying to me. They opened the door just to crack for uh, for Barbara Jagger's evil presence because they're sort of uh, writers if they write their own lyrics. Okay, Barry in the Lodge. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Mmm. So Barry Chuen checked up. Sinclair Ooh. looked bad. That wasn't a love test. The crazy old fart hit her hard. It. And if the she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. Destiny. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you get him, boys. You get that guy. This doesn't work. These keys don't work on the generator. Now, where the hell is Hartman's office? It's through here, I think. No, it wasn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's not dead. Okay. I know. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Oh, there it is, Alice Wake. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> What she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Yep. I don't fucking like this. If she had a problem with me, she should have said something, not just freaking talk to the doctor behind my back. Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Mother fucking son of a bitch. I saw these paintings. They're paintings of the Taken. Who painted these? He knows something. Oh, there he is. Motherfucking Mott and Dr. Hartman. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. So he just played me to get me here, huh? That motherfucker. I am so gonna... Hartman, do you hear me? 
Fuck yeah, Barry. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. <laughs> Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy out. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. <laughs> yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Man, finally, somebody on my side. God. But, Barry, get the... Get the fuck out of the damn it. Damn it, I am stuck. The game will not let me move. <laughs> there we go. What the hell does this guy want with my manuscript? These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Where'd I get that? Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Uh-oh. Oh, I trapped him in that room. Oh. Sure, right after we, uh, read this. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. What does he want with me, though? Okay, I know we have the ability to, like, rewrite stuff or, like, turn whatever the hell we're writing into. Oh! Reality. But. What the hell does, a uh, Hartman want with, with all this? Like what benefit did oh damn it did he did, did he have? I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. You got it, I know exactly where to go. But we don't have a key for that. All of a sudden it starts working, of course. If only I can run faster. Come on, Ellen. Okay, crank it. One more time. There we go. Let's get downstairs. ASAP. Can't be spending too much time around here. Through the door. That's not good. Shit, what do I do? I don't have a flashlight. Damn it. Okay. Can't go back out there. Can I? No. Fuck. Through the door? Yeah. Okay, I got one flare. Here's that dining room. F turn it on. Get the fuck out of my way, you stupid bears. 
Okay, there you go. Another manuscript page. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Subjects? What do you mean, subjects? And what the hell does he wish to produce, anyway? That makes no sense. Does he want to get famous or something? Okay, neither of these doors work. Where's, where's, the, where's the door that works? How do I leave? Fuck, how do I leave? Okay. Um, let's see here. Can't go through that door. Can't go through this middle door either, it seems. Ooh, now I can. Alright. But, we're st okay. Alright, alright, ball. Woo! Woo! Close call. Way too close. Gotta move. Gotta move, Alan. Gotta move faster. See? Gotta move faster. Let's go. Fuck. Whoa. No. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, ball. I'm gonna try to get you to break down this door, okay? In it! Damn. Okay, ball. Okay, ball, do me a big favor here. Do me a favor. Thank you. Finally. God, that was a little tricky. Okay. Fuck. Guess I have to make it do it again, huh? Should I even go this way? What's with the flashlights? Oh, it's Barry. Didn't I tell you to get a car, dude? Hey, come on! We gotta get going! Okay. I'm running. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there! Son of a Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al! Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh god! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Shit! Oh no! Come on, gate. Get get the fuck out of the way, gate. Come on. Shh, damn it. Come on. Okay. Can I get through? Yes. Good enough. Okay. I'm gonna try my best to hurry. Alright, hedge maze. What's gonna happen to me now? There's probably going to be a bunch of enemies. I'm sure there will be. They're just going to pop out of nowhere, right? Fantastic. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Oh, you too. You're over here. Don't trust Emil. Oh, Emil Hartman. Thank you, Cynthia Weaver. I don't know how you keep. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure it's Cynthia Weaver picking. Uh, writing those messages to me. I don't know how she writes in glow in the dark ink though. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area surrounding an unlikely centerpiece, a full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. <laughs> I'm guessing the Anderson brothers have a stage on their farm. Are we gonna end up there later? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 ooh! Hello. Flare. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a big guy. Shit, stop, big guy. Please.
Okay. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Uh, God damn it. Okay, where is the fucking exit? Who's talking? Oh, here we go. I don't know who was talking. I sounded like one of the brothers. Did they get taken over by the Dark Presence? Oh god, I hope not. Oh. oh okay. It's... yeah. It's one of Dr. Hartman's staff. I forgot his name already. Ooh. Drop a flare. Drop a flare. I don't have any more flares. Okay. Fuck. I'm out of flares. And the crows are hurting me. Pretty bad. Pretty badly here. Oh god. Oh god. Damn it. Okay. Get... Get to the flare gun. Gotta wait for him a little bit. Gotta wait for him a little bit. Drop the flare. Let's just drop the flare right now. Get past him. Grab the flare gun. Okay. Come on. Okay. Goody. Where's he coming from? There he is. There he is. Good. At least I deal with the fucking crows. I can deal with him as long as the crows aren't around. He's not too too bad. I just gotta focus on him now. The crows are what what made this fight kinda tricky. Got, ooh, just gotta keep dumping batteries into the flashlight, and here we go. What was your name? Was it Jack? I don't know. I don't think it matters anymore. He's dead. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to do that. You weren't that bad to me, actually. But I just don't like Emil Hartman, so... You died. Okay, let's get to fucking Barry. Where is he? He's beyond this light, probably. Oh, what's in here? Yeah, more stuff. I love stuff. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin, if only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Oh. So he was a little scared of me, huh? Damn straight. Fucking take a guy's wife, of course you better be scared of the dude. Oh, this is the, this is the area that was in one of the, the paintings. In Hartman's place. Oh no! Fuck. I don't have any flares. I don't have any flares. Damn. Insert a battery. Come on. Come on, guy. You too. It's no bueno. I was hoping this would, like... Fighting that orderly would be the end of it all. There's always going to be more enemies, it seems. Oh, a flare! Nice. There's also a note just beyond this gate. 
fuck. Not this shit again. Motherfucking A. God damn it. That's so obnoxious. How big is this place? For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh no. Is this right happening right now or did it already happen? Fuck, dude. He's like my only friend in this game so far. Everybody else is just kind of a dick. Oh, damn it. Fucking you assholes. Stop coming out of the bushes. And you. Don't ambush people like that. Damn it. Fuck. Are you holding a nightstick? Like I had a nightstick, dude. Oh, the lamp's busted. I can't heal myself anymore. Okay. I wonder what the meaning behind the faded yellow graffiti is. Could it be Cynthia writing notes to me, but somebody erased them? I don't know. But we got ourselves a flare gun. I'm starting to love the flare gun. It bails you out of so many bad situations. Okay, what now? Oh, how do I get up there? Oh, the stairs up, duh. Alrighty, alrighty. Another source of light. That's good. That's good. More, more items. That's even better. Shotgun, lithium batteries, coffee thermos, and a manuscript page. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Oh. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Oh. Hartman's kind of hardcore. Barely tasted the blood? The guy must see a good amount of blood then. So, Thomas Zane was a patient of his too, huh? This guy's kind of psychotic. Breaking someone down and then shaping them back up the way he wants? Fucking crazy. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry, I'll find it. Don't worry about it. God damn it. Okay. Alright, last stand. Good thing I got some flares. Throw him down. And I got a flare gun too. Where's the big dude? The big dude. Fuck. I don't want to deal with you, little guy. Fuck. Okay. Terrible. Terrible. This is probably going to be a terrible idea, but what if I just run right down the middle, huh? Run right down the middle, shoot this fucker. Nice. Throw down a flare gun, and wait for things to come at me. We can put down another flare gun right here, or another flare. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. 
This is another big guy, I think. Sh fucking Barry! Why are you talking about a finding a quarter, dude? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. God damn it. Oh god. Okay. Okay, okay. Not good. Not good. Well, hurry the fuck up, guy. Come on now. Come on now, Barry. Barry? 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> they took the cut out with them. something to the works of art created here it makes them come true but there's a catch the dark presence whatever that thing is twists it to its own ends that's why all of this is happening it's using my manuscript to take over everything al i believe you it happened to thomas zane before it happened to the andersons i believe you crazy or not you're not delusional weird shit's going down that's a fact I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! It's just Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine! <laughs> Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah, Al! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use the flare, Barry! Okay, gotta get down, gotta get down. Yeah. There we go. Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? <laughs> oh, there's the farm. Find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! You got it, buddy. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Please don't die, homie. It's a long way down for me. Fuck. It's a uh, god damn it. One thing after another, after another, after another. Well, I was hoping that tree would fall and make a bridge, but guess guess it's not gonna be that convenient. I don't have a flashlight, so I can't deal with this thing. 
Maybe I can dodge it though as I run. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. No such luck. Okay, okay. Let's get to the top of this thing. Maybe, just maybe we can find something. Whoa, not a, not another not another object. Okay. God damn it. There's a l fuck. There's uh I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh. 